Okay, so today we have this uh, IKBC Type Man W Series 2.4 gig wireless uh, keyboard. And we're going to be taking a look at it compared to some of the other keyboards that I have. And you can see here, this is the IKBC. Um, this is an AJAZ uh, Bluetooth wireless keyboard. And I also have a 60% uh, Skyloon. There's various names, you know, from different manufacturers um, for this, this keyboard. Now I had used this keyboard for quite a while and you know, this is what's called a 60% keyboard and it's really good. I really love the feel of this keyboard. The main problem is that, you know, you can see because it lacks dedicated arrow keys and navigation keys, it's very difficult to use if you're doing something like programming or if you're doing a lot of uh, <clears throat> document editing, document authoring, word processing, um, because you constantly have to hit the FN key to access the navigation capabilities, okay? So this, these two keyboards here, these two white keyboards are Bluetooth keyboards. And this keyboard I've had some challenges with in terms of uh, maintaining connectivity. Um, you know, sometimes you'll, it'll end up stuck on a given key and just uh, keep generating character over and over. And then you just have to disconnect and reconnect it. But you can see it's, it's got this uh, USB-C port, so you can always use it in wired mode. This AJAZ keyboard is the same, although the Bluetooth connectivity on this one is sig significantly better. Um, I've not had, in the two weeks I've used that, not had any issues with this keyboard, but I still use it in wired mode just um, because I'm at my desk. Um, but if I take my laptop anywhere, I use it in wire wireless mode and there's no problems with it whatsoever. Um, there's some issues sometimes getting it to reconnect once it's been turned off and disconnected, uh, but otherwise the wireless connectivity works great. Now, this IKBC, there's a couple of problems with this keyboard, and in my usage of it, it's kind of fallen out of favor for me. I was, uh, it started out very promising, um, but it's kind of, uh, there's a couple of deal breakers here. Okay, number one, you can see there's no ability to use it in wired mode. So there's no USB port, so, you know, you can't use it in wired mode even if you want to, you have to use it in wireless mode, okay? So when you get this keyboard, you'll see there's a little slot here, and this slot is where, you know, you're gonna put in your batteries, and there's a dongle here that I've taken out and plugged into my computer, right? Now, the problem with this dongle is that this dongle operates on 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. So what does that mean? That means if you have things like a wireless mouse, if you have things like, you know, your Wi-Fi, um, you have things like your phone, you're going to have interference. And this is the biggest problem that I have with this keyboard is that there's just a lot of interference. It seems like every once in a while, the connectivity just acts up, right? So you'll get non-responsive keys, you'll get keys that get stuck, um, you know, just keep pressing T's or L's or whatever you're typing all the ways across. And that is very problematic, okay? So I think, um, you know, for, especially for the price at, at $100, you know, this keyboard here, you know, significantly cheaper, I think about $60. Um, I have a real hard time recommending this keyboard, even though it comes from IKBC. Um, and, and these are True Cherry MX, uh, MX uh, Red key, um, uh, mechanical keys, key switches. It's just not usable. It's just very problematic because of that 2.4 gigahertz connectivity. Okay. So that said and done, you know, I'm going to give you a little typing test here so you can have an idea of how it sounds. Um, if you still want to put your money into this keyboard. Um, but uh, like I said, I, you know, I would recommend considering the AJAZ, uh, this AJAZ keyboard, which is Bluetooth based, but again, also gives you the option to keep it in wired mode. Um, if you have a lot of interference nearby. Um, all right, ready? We're just gonna do a typing test here so you can get an idea of how it sounds. Let's see here, refresh. And make sure our key is on, yep. Okay, 
So generally, the you know, it's really sad because the keyboard feels great um, to type on. The switches are really top notch. Um, there's a bit of a hollowness when you when you empty out uh, when you bottom out at the at the bottom. Uh, but otherwise, you know, it's a great keyboard to type on, and it just feels great. The weight is excellent, and everything. Um, but like I said, the main problem with this keyboard is that the dongle is has some connectivity issues. So, you know, if you're using a wireless mouse, if you have your Wi-Fi, you have your phone, um, you might have some connectivity issues. So it would have been great if they had just included an ability to plug in a USB cable too. Um, so that's, uh, yeah. I think uh, if you're looking for a keyboard that you can use, a wireless keyboard, mechanical, um, they're better and cheaper options than this one.